Hey guys, Official Phone Rebel here, and in this video you'll quickly and easily learn how to install Jelly Bean 4.2.1 in the form of Cyanogen Mod 10.1, the nightly edition, on your Samsung Galaxy S3. Now this will work on the Verizon Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile version, as well as the i9300. Now if you have not rooted your device yet, you want to click on this annotation right here. It'll take you to my rooting video and you want to go ahead and do that before starting this video. Now for this ROM, it's basically the most popular Jellybean 4.2.1 ROM Cyanogen mod. If you haven't seen my overview of it, I'll have a link in the video right there and you can check it out. Now for this video, I will be using a T-Mobile Galaxy S3 on stock 4.1.1 it has been rooted and it's ready to go so if you've rooted your device let's go ahead and begin on your desktop you want to download the following two things so you'll grab google apps and the cyanogen mod 10.1 latest edition for your device and of course i'll have the different carriers different links for each carrier and you can find all the links necessary down below in the description there will be a link to my website with all of the links you need there Anyways, once you do have those, go ahead and select them and drag them into either your internal storage or SD card. I'm going to go ahead and choose internal. And once those files are on your phone, either on your internal or SD card memory, go ahead and shut your phone down. Begin by holding the volume up the home and the power button all at the same time so here we go now once you do feel that your phone vibrates let go of the power button and continue holding the volume up and the home button once you are in your clockwork mod recovery you want to select install zip from sd card and whether or not it's on your sd card or your internal memory select accordingly mine is on the internal memory and go ahead and select cm 10.1 and select yes now this will take just a couple minutes, go ahead and give it a little bit of rest. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and once again enter your memory, and for me it's the internal, and once again we're going to select another package, this time the G apps or Google apps, go ahead and select that, and then select yes. That'll go ahead and commence, and once that is done installing, you will reboot your phone and you'll boot up into Android 4.2.1. And here we go, so I'm just gonna select back and reboot system now. Once your Galaxy S3 boots back up, welcome to Jellybean 4.2.1. It really is a streamlined, very nice experience and I do hope you enjoy it. So hopefully everything went well for you. Leave a comment down below letting me know how I did. Also like and favor this video, it does help me tremendously and subscribe for many more videos to come. Have a great day guys, enjoy Jellybean 4.2.1. Peace.